Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I am having the Volkswagen ID3 Pure with the 45 kilowatt hour battery right now in the garage uh, for a press car from Volkswagen and I'm testing it a bit and I also tested charging and now I'm in the lucky position that I did a charging test with all three batteries of the ID3 so Pro 58 kilowatt hour usable energy Pure 45 and Pro S 77 um, the uh, Pro and the Pro S were done in the beginning, uh, in the middle of September and in the end of September. Uh, Pure I just did a few days ago, but I did a very high speed test before and the battery was warm and I think I got the top charging speed that you can get out of the battery. And the good thing is also this is the new version of the battery that already can charge faster than my ID3 that has the middle battery, the Pro battery. But we will look at the uh, uh, charge at Ionity of course from 5 to 100% I think from 5. We'll look at the screen and then we look at the graphs in comparison to the other two. And there we go. We're starting right away at 212 kilowatt and then interestingly not just the voltage goes up the amps go up too and it's weird. So in other batteries it's usually the amp is peak and then the voltage goes up and that's why you get higher charging power. And as you can see it was 118 kilowatt uh, at peak at around 20% and but at 27, 26, 27 it's already under 100 kilowatt and it goes down steadily. And I looked at the battery temperature in between and it was always at around uh, 40 degrees. Uh, I did a live stream of the whole, uh, whole charge. You can watch it if you want to and I looked at the battery temperature the whole time and also uh, I could see that in EV Notify it shows me a different state of charge than the car is showing. Now at 50% we're at 63 kilowatt so it's steadily going down like it should it, it did with uh, Pro and Pro S as well so it's really good 60 kilowatt still at 57% even goes up a bit so it went down to 16 out of 61. Hmm. Um, but what we will see is that there's really high charging power even at very high state of charge because there's a, such a big buffer. It's a 55 kilowatt hour battery, but only 45 kilowatt hours are used. When do we have 50 kilowatt? At around 70%, now 71%. Um, like I said, steadily going down. The voltage started with 360 and it goes up to a bit above 400 volt. My pack in my ID3 starts at 409 and goes to 450, 460. I don't even know now. Sorry, there's a video about that. <laughs> I really don't know. 80% 80, 80 we still have 42 kilowatt. That's what other EVs have as max. I mean, not every EV, but this is a small battery. You have to think about that. But still, look at that, 44 kilowatt at 85%, 45 even. Look at that, that's just awesome. And it stays there, look at that, slowly going down, even at 90%, 43 kilowatt. That is awesome, and then it slowly goes down. But even, we'll see at 95%, it's still good. 34, 33, now at 33 kilowatt at 95%. So you can charge this car really to a high state of charge. It's still fine. And now we look at the, we are at 400 volt. So it wasn't that high, I was wrong. 401. Yeah, 401 volt, and that's it. We I charged 44.13 kilowatt. So here we now have the graphs, and this is a state of charge in percent and charging power in kilowatt. So it was at what state of charge do we have what power? And at blue is my Pro, 58 kilowatt hour battery. Yellow is the Pure, and red is the 77 kilowatt hours from the Pro S. And as you can see, because my car doesn't have the update yet, um, that the Pure is has higher charging to 25 percent. Then it's under all, almost all the time, except here, where my ID3 dumps down. It 
goes up again here at the 43 to 45 so where my car I would say at 80% it's enough let's leave um, here it's just fine so it even stays above but the Pro S with its 126 uh, uh, kilowatt stays above the pure all the time except here where are we at between 86 87 percent uh, of state of charge then the pure charges a bit better but let's look at the important stuff it's how many kilowatt hours are being charged into the battery in minutes again same colors uh, yellow is the pure blue is my pro and red is the pro s and as you can see except for the beginning the first 10 minutes where the pure is a tiny bit better than my car again because of that update the the my id3 charges more kilowatt hours into the battery than the the pure and the pro s just way better and then the last graph is range added and for that range number i use the um, consumption at 90 kilometers an hour i know maybe at some point it should change it to 130 because this is for long for long distance and you don't drive 90 but it, that's how it is right now uh, for the uh, for the pro s i had to estimate since i never did a 90 kilometers an hour test and the pure and the pro s i took the exact same consumption because they're just 30 kilos apart and i don't see a consumption difference in the use i do and that's why except for the beginning again to the 10 minutes you get more range into the middle battery and of course way more into the pro s look at that that's just awesome so here it ends around there and there so it's all the, the the three batteries are separated in a nice way and uh you can see it very well but great charging for a battery that size i like that a lot but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye